We're here with our mascot, the Story Dude. So please, like the video, subscribe to Story Dude, and let's get into the stories. What is the dumbest thing people actually thought is real? That posting, I will not allow Facebook to sell my photos, yada yada on Facebook somehow makes their terms of service invalid. Those wristbands that, give you energy, face with rolling eyes. That MLMs are a, small business, and not a pyramid scheme where there's little to no chance of making, not losing money. Babies feel no pain and they believed that until the 1970s so they would experiment on babies up until then because they didn't feel pain. Scary. I thought it was illegal to keep the lights on in the car until I was like 14. My parents are liars laughing my ass off rolling on the floor laughing. JFK Jr. being alive is one of the more idiotic things I've seen recently. Old people of Reddit, how did you get here? Over 60 yo grandma here. Started using computers when Fortran and key punch cards were state of the art, likely well before you were born. I joined Reddit maybe two years ago, when my youngest son, mid-30s, mentioned that he used it. Since our worlds are so different, we have a great relationship, but our day-to-day -day lives don't intersect much. I thought it would be fun to have something in common to talk about. Hey, did you see today's eye bleach? So that's how this old fart s got here. But then I noticed a whole lot of other topics of interest, and found myself hooked. Dot. Thanks for asking. I've been on the internet longer than a lot of you have been alive. Hi Cassiation nice to see that you're on the red dit now. Hope you and Bob are well our daughter Jennifer celebrated her 40th birthday last week doesn't time fly. Peter had his heart surgery a month ago and is recovering well how are the kids? Lol to you all from Peter and Barbara. How would teenagers realistically misuse magic at Hogwarts? Every year there's a different boy who ends up in the infirmary after using Engorgio on his dick and fainting from the rush of blood. The young ones would probably cast itching or tickling spells on each other, making students good at deflecting spells. Dot. As they get older, probably experiment on enlarging things or other beauty attempts like clearing acne. After reading these, I think there would be a big market on putting a parental lock on certain spells on wands bought for kids. You saw that when James Potter suspended Snape's in the air for no reason. Bullying would be 100 times worse. You know the joke where you hold up two fingers behind someone's head and say they have bunny ears. Students walking around Hogwarts with actual bunny ears. Turning water into rum. What is a scam that everybody should know about? Being charged a convenience fee for the honor of being able to pay a bill by phone or online. Um really? I have to pay you to pay you? Scams I've warned my parents about. 1. Never get onto a computer if a customer service representative who called them tells them to. 2. I will never take a trip overseas without telling them, find myself stranded and need money wired to me. Every single MLM out there. There is not a single good one. It has nothing to do with products and everything to do with the business model. You are set up to fail 100% of the time. Fucking chiropractors. I was astounded to recently learn how many are responsible for serious injuries in their patients. Look it up, please. The Biden administration is not personally contacting you about insurance or student loan debt. 